everyone, 700 Club family, do we have a treat for you? I'm standing here with record setting NFL running back who I did have on my fantasy league yes. a year or two years, three years ago, whatever, however many years ago it was. We miss you <laughs> in the NFL, just saying. Uh, also, LU alum, speaker, winner of Dancing with the Stars. Come on now. And now he has a new book. Yes. A new book. Rashad Jennings, welcome to the 700 Club this morning. What a treat. Thank you to so have much. You. Thank you so much yeah. for letting me be here. This is an amazing building, an amazing franchise, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Yes, we're happy to have you. First time. First time. Yes. First time. But not the last time. All right. You wrote this book. Tell us about it. Yes. It is titled right The If in Life. The If in Life. And it's a play on words. When you spell out the word life, if is in the middle. And I went through 15 intimate chapters, kind of extracting this one little itty bitty word um, and how important it is mm -hmm. in my life. Um, you know, if I didn't have a loving mother to right. be there for me, um, if I didn't have people believe in me before I knew who I was, if I didn't have God in my life. Right. And there's so many types of variables that I feel like we have to find our if in this thing we call life mm. and this goes through again just my childhood yeah being this overweight chubby kid glasses <laughs> asthma yeah. 0.6 gpa at one point in time fifth string running back mm -hmm. saying i want to play in the nfl so i show how god showed up yeah that's so cool it's a testimony and in your yes, book what was it absolutely. like writing it it was humbling to write it because yeah. you you know what you 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 go back mm -hmm. and you have to relive um, everything you've been through yeah and so when I find myself, and I always say it's nothing special about me. It's just the position yeah. that is special yeah. that I find myself in. And so when you have to go relive uh, all the things you've been through to get to this point, mm -hmm. it's a lot of humility. It's a lot of tears. Um, it's, a lot of, it's a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. Um, and I'm just appreciative because I've mm -hmm. always asked God to do things in my life that I personally couldn't take credit for. Yeah. And inside, as you see, yeah. how I can't yeah. take credit for it. Yeah, well, he orchestrated your life completely. Um, now, questions. What about the ifs that are negative things? How do we overcome those ifs in our lives? Absolutely. There's always going to be negativity. And, you know, there's thoughts, ideas, concepts, etc. All these are kind of out-of-body experience. Right. And they go through a filter. You know, they go through a processor. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, after you think about these concepts, you think about these ideas, it goes through the filter, and then that's what you either say mm -hmm. or do, right? And yeah, somewhere in good. that filter, life is going to throw you some poor things. Yep. Life's going to throw you some yep. bad circumstances. Mm -hmm. And based upon your filter, your relationship with God, your, 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 your address to reality, that's what you're going to end up doing. And I think we have to constantly minimize and mm. stri strike in and iron sharpens iron yeah. with that filter. And it has to be a God filter. It's good. Because life's going to throw you some things you yeah. don't want. Yeah, it's true. That's a promise. Yeah. Um, it's just going to be a matter of how you, how you respond to it. And if you respond to it the mm. right way it's or good. if you don't. Um, that's that's where you're going to find yourself at. Such a powerful message. I think everyone can relate to at some time in their life. Now, you wrote this bo book, or um, <coughs> mm -hmm. Michael Strahan had a little hand in it. Yeah, he Tell wrote the about forward. That. Michael Strahan wrote the forward for this book. I'm humbled by it because he's somebody that I kind of I kind of look up to uh, right. to a lot of a lot of a lot of ways because. He's a pro athlete. He played mm -hmm. on the best organization ever, the Giants. I obviously. disagree. You know, but um, also he, he's become a friend, and he's somebody who who works diligently, works hard. He puts people first, and I've watched him transition out of the game of football and really do something um, mm -hmm. to the point where his name is not just tied with football. And myself, I've always said, if I'm only remembered as an mm -hmm. NFL running back. In my book, I'm a failure. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like God has truly given me um, some s particular drives mm -hmm. and skill sets to try to work on. Yeah. Um, that I really feel I'm doing myself a disservice mm -hmm. if if only thing people know me as a, as a running back. Right. So exactly. As uh, as I've moved on, I got mm -hmm. some people to know me as a dancer and now an yes. author, and I have yes. some more I'm trying to list off as I dancer, go. author, speaker. <laughs> I mean, I saw you uh, speak at Liberty University. And mm -hmm. your inspirational, um, encouraging words to just pushing young people. What is the message that you're hoping to, to send out to people that read your book 
and um, watch you live your life. Yeah, the message the message is very simple. It's that really dreams do come true. Mm. I'm a living witness of being yeah. your average guy. Mm -hmm. I'm a dork next door, <laughs> outside washing the yeah. car, checking his mouth. Like I'm your average American guy mm -hmm. by far. And through this book, you can see that. Mm -hmm. And it's an inspiration to kids that, you know, don't ever let anybody define you. That's right. Truly, That's right. because they really will. Um, and that I, when opportunity presents itself, mm -hmm. it's going to be too late to prepare for it. Mm -hmm. I honestly feel mm -hmm. like whatever it is you want to do in life, yeah. It's going to show itself at least three solid mm -hmm. times. And it's just a matter if you're willing and ready to walk in it. Yeah, it's good. Now, did you ever imagine yourself where God has placed you now back from when you were a little boy to where, you know, being drafted in the NFL, I think you started with the Jags, you were picked mm -hmm. up and then and went from on from there. And then now Dancing with the Stars, God gave you this huge platform. Mm -hmm. You won it. Uh, America knows your name. Right. You know, did, did you ever think that God would give you such a platform? No, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, if you if you would have if somebody would have told me at 14 years old what was right. going to happen, I'd be like, right. get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, exactly. Did you not see where I'm at right now in life? <laughs> no, I, I never yeah. foresaw that at all. And I'm just, I'm I sit back and like I get to be a fan of watching what God does. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, again, that's what makes me feel like I have an awesome responsibility. And I put the word awesome in front of it because it, it, it is. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, too much is given, much is required. And for, for myself, you know, being that little kid yeah. that actually has had an opportunity to do something mm -hmm. special with his life. Um, and I know I have loving brothers and loving family. I understand everyone doesn't. Yeah. And so through yeah. so many venues and, you know, so many legs and branches, I want to be that to many people. Mm -hmm. So through my books, the way I write, the way I talk, where I give my time to, yeah. I always see myself as being that inspiration to somebody else. Yeah. And you never know if you're being a seed in somebody's mm -hmm. life or if you're watering a seed that's been planted. That's right. That's so true. And so I extend myself as much as I can. Yeah. Such such a good a good inspirational message. Now, all right. You had to give it, you know, narrowed this book down to one call, call of action. All right. So those that are going to get this book and they're going to read this book, what tell them what you hope to get out of it. One call to action. Mm -hmm. The if in life. Yeah. And it's it's in the subtitle. It really is mm -hmm. how to get off the sidelines. It's good. Truly. Yeah. Um, and actually play and be a part of mm -hmm. life. It's good. Because it's so many people. I feel like that are too robotic with their own life. Mm. Like God gave you something unique. It's a miracle to even live. Yeah. And yeah. if you aren't putting forth all of your effort, not only are you doing yourself a disservice, but you're also telling God, I don't believe you can do it. Mm. And yeah. so reading this, I really feel like you're gonna find that big major if mm. in your own life. It's good. Good. Get the book. Get the book. Man, this is this is such a good message, and I hope that it just takes off. Get the book. We will post a link. And then don't forget, you can watch his interview with Wendy Griffith today. Stay right here on Facebook. We will post a link. We'll post the interview. And get the book again. It is Rashad Jennings, The If in Life. Don't miss it. We'll see you next time, guys.